Hey, I'm glad you decided to click on the next video. So let's start at the beginning. What is leadership? Well, leadership encompasses far more than people initially think. It starts with the leadership of self, then the leadership of others, then the leadership of leaders, of business, and at the highest levels, the statementship, the statementship of enterprise level leadership or a country level leadership like the president. Leadership is the facilitation of a process of the crystallization of potential of desired results through systematic organization of talent. Yes, that sounds like a mouthful. Let me say it again. Leadership is the facilitation of the process of the crystallization of the potential into desired results through the systematic organization of talent. See, we're all born with different God-given talents, but that's not enough. Talent does not equal results. Otherwise, all successful people will be talented, and they are not. And all unsuccessful people will be untalented, and they are not as well. And you know from your own observations that this is just not true. Do you know any talented people who don't seem to get the results they deserve? Of course you do. You probably know dozens. Do you know any successful people who seem to lack talent? Again, they're everywhere, aren't they? Talent will help. Sure, it'll help, but it's not enough on its own. Something else is needed, and that catalyst necessary to crystallize the potential into the results is leadership. One of my favorite book of John's is called Talent is Never Enough. And here's some information from that book. Take a look at this. More than 50% of all CEOs from Fortune 500 companies had a C or a C minus average in college. It's true. 65% of all senators come from the bottom half of their school classes. 75% of all U.S. presidents were in the lower half club in school. And more than 50% of millionaire entrepreneurs never finished college. So what does that say to you? Some of our beliefs around why people are successful need to be re-examined. There has to be more to it than talent. Talent is given, but we must earn success. Edward Pallion said, have success and there will always be fools to say you have talent. Peter Drucker said, there seems to be little correlation between a man's effectiveness and his intelligence, imagination, or his knowledge. When we look into this, we see that it's leadership that makes the difference. Everything rises and falls with leadership. Now, I said we're going to take a look at three of these laws. And we're going to, and we're going to do that. So the first one we're going to talk about, we're going to look at the law of the lid. And then we're going to go to the law of influence and, and then the law of process. But let me start with giving you a summary of all three. How well you lead determines on how successful you're going to be. That's the law of the lid. Leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. That's the law of influence. And leadership develops day by day and not in a day. And that is the law of process. So I've chosen these three because when we realize that we'll only be as successful as our ability to lead, that leadership is influence, and our influence with people and therefore our ability to lead develops through a process that evolves day by day, once we understand this and once we see this, it gives us something to immediately set to work on. The process of developing our ability to influence. Now, let's get to the law of the lid.